Bereshit, Genesis 45. Then Yosef could not refrain himself before all the men that stood by him. And he cried, cause every man, rather, cause every man to go out from me. There stood no man with him, while Yosef made himself known unto his brethren. And he wept at aloud. And the Mitzrayim and the house of Pharaoh heard. And Yosef said unto his brethren, I am Yosef. Does my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. And Yosef said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near. And he said, I am Yosef, your brother, whom ye sold into Mitzrayim. Now, therefore, be not grieved, nor angry with yourselves, that ye sold me hither. For Elohim did not send me before you to preserve life. Rather, for Elohim did send me before you to preserve life. For these two years has the famine been in the land, and yet there are five years in the which there shall neither be earring nor harvest. And Elohim sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but Elohim. And he has made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all his house and a ruler throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. Haste ye, and go up to my father, and say unto him, Thus says your son, Yosef, Elohim has made me lord of all Mitzrayim. Come down unto me, tarry not, and you shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near unto me, you and your children, and your children's children, and your flocks, and your herds, and all that you have. And there will I nourish you, for yet there are five years of famine, lest you and your household and all that you have come to poverty. And behold, your eyes see and the eyes of my brother Binyamin, that it is my mouth that speaks unto you. And ye shall tell my father of at all my glory in Mitzrayim, and at of all that ye have seen, and ye shall haste and bring down my father hither. And he fell upon his brother Binyamin's neck and wept. And Binyamin went, wept upon his neck Moreover, he kissed all his brethren and wept upon them. And after that, his brethren talked with him. And the fame thereof was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Yosef's brethren are come, and it pleased Pharaoh well, and his servants. And Pharaoh said unto El Yosef, Say unto your brethren, This do ye. Laid at your beasts, and go, get you unto the land of Canaan, and take at your father, and at your households, and come unto me, and I will give you at the good of the land of Mitzrayim, and ye shall eat at the fat of the land. Now you are commanded, this do ye, take you wagons out of the land of Mitzrayim for your little ones, and for your women and bring at your father, and come. Also, regard not your stuff, for the good of all the land of Mitzrayim is yours. And the children of Yasharel did so, and Yosef gave them wagons, according to the commandment of Pharaoh, and gave them provision for the way. 
To all of them he gave each man changes of raiment. But to Binyamin he gave 300 pieces of silver and five changes of raiment. And to his father he sent after this manner ten asses laden with the good things of Mitzrayim, and ten she-asses laden with grain and bread and meat for his father by the way. So he sent at his brethren away, and they departed. And he said unto them, See that ye fall not out by the way. And they went up out of Mitzrayim and came into the land of Canaan unto El Yaakov their father, and told him, saying, Yosef is yet alive, and he is a governor, rather, and he is governor over all the land of Mitzrayim. And Yaakov's heart fainted, for he believed them not. And they told him at all the words of Yosef, which he had said unto them. And when he saw at the wagons which Yosef had sent to carry him, the Ruach of Yaakov, their father, revived. And Yashar El said, It is enough. Yosef, my son, is yet alive. I will go and see him before I die.